Hey everyone, so I wanted to make this uh, quick little touch picks tutorial video for those that are just getting into the 360 uh, photo boost. Uh, and I wanted to show how easy it is to use touch picks and what I do to set up for a custom event. So once you log in, after you create your account, it takes you to the dashboard. And from the dashboard, you're going to go to create custom event. So when you click on that, it's going to take you to uh, all the settings for your custom event. Everything is pretty much laid out uh, very easily. So you can see it when I hover over the question mark, it tells you what this right here is going to do. And so a lot of this stuff right here, you can just kind of leave it as is. But let's go ahead and give this a name. Let's put test. Uh, English country and then countdown countdown can just be about between three and five uh, you don't need to do any longer than that um, but four is pretty good I like doing four uh, beep sounds that's just the beeping for the countdown so when this is uh, counting down it'll just do a beep beep and then um, this right here, you can see it gives a long little description. Uh, it'll just show it in reverse, the preview. Um, I just leave that alone. Uh, I prefer to use the rear camera, so we're going to check that. And then all this right here, I just leave as is. Uh, obviously, if you're doing the 360, you're not going to be doing any printing. So we'll do no printing and then this part right here I, I think uh, a lot of people get confused on um, touch picks can be used as a regular photo booth so that's why they have all these options but we only want to do the slow-mo that's the most popular one so we're gonna uncheck all of these and we're just gonna do the slow-mo uh, for the slow-mo duration this is how long the recording is going to be. So I like to put this at about four, between four to five. So it's up to you. How long do you want to do the recording? But I wouldn't recommend going any, any longer than five because then it takes longer for the video to process uh, once the video is done. And then of course you're going to want to do the slow-mo boomerang. That's what makes the animation of the going back and forth so the reverse effect uh, if you have any music you can just choose it here it's going to be an mp4 video or audio um, screen flash I don't I don't do that so we're just going to scroll down now timeouts uh, survey I don't do survey so I just zero that out sharing I like to leave that. Uh, props, zero. Uh, you can do editing if you want. Uh, I don't. I like to keep it very simple. Um, just put zero for that. Thanks is just going to be the ending. So that's going to be, you can do maybe 10. Between 8 and 10 is pretty good. Uh, it's just saying thank you for using the booth. So it says thank you. And then this uh, sharing is um, basically down this information here. Uh, I leave all these checked. Um, the email subject. So this is your subject line for the email that gets sent. Uh, you can put whatever name that you want people to see when they get the email. Uh, you can replace the text here for your company name. So you put in your company. And then do the same thing for this one, this one, this one, and then do another name for this one. Just basically copy over the same stuff. Uh, face props, no face props. Uh, app name, so this is the name that's used in the text, the text message, and email. So 
you're gonna put your company name uh, app logo that's gonna be what's shown when the thank you so if I scroll back up uh, that section where we put the thank you seconds it's gonna show with the app logo so uh, be sure to use a PNG PNG is gonna be better um, JPEG shows the white box around the logo PNG is uh, transparent so you can choose that there uh, then the rest I just leave alone I don't touch any of this stuff um, custom trigger survey I don't do any of this stuff external screen um, I don't do that either but if you want to you can do an external session or a slideshow on an Apple TV um, using your your iPhone that's that's recording um, or you can do it on, on an iPad so um, but yeah that's pretty much it it's, uh, it's a pretty short video so if I scroll back up we can go down the list again so you got the name country countdown uh, beep sounds if you want that rear camera you want to use the rear camera it's better quality uh, you scroll down slow-mo is the only one slow-mo duration five seconds that's the recording time so it doesn't matter how many times the 360 is spinning around the person it, it depends on this right here this is the de uh, determining factor so you know there's no you know the arm has to spin three three to five times it's it all depends on the recording uh, then thanks sharing the sharing section just leave alone um, then you can just put in your company names and then just branding um, once you're done with the branding then you just hit submit so I click on submit this is a great way to set up for all your future events so if you have a bunch of events lined up I'm still waiting for this to load but if you have a bunch of events uh, lined up then um, you can just set them all up and uh, go to your dashboard or events and you can see here test so when you're ready to use it then you just click on QR code scan the QR code for your, for that specific event all right pretty easy I mean this uh, short video but that's literally how long it takes to set up your uh, custom event so I prefer the custom over the preset it's just easier and it's not that hard uh, hope you found this video helpful and uh, stay tuned for more